In terms of design, the car looks really really nice and gorgeous. The kit and uh, together with that, we also have this gloss back trims all around the car to make it even more understated and classy. So um, in international markets, we do get um, the standard basic line for the 2 series but I prefer the M Sport body kit for the 218i because it looks even aggressive. and. Um, if you notice, uh, the overall look of this, this is the Grand Coupe and it's 95% similar to the BMW 1 series and it's the most special BMW they can own in Malaysia right now because this has the Grand Coupe name. And then it looks uh, angry, aggressive because of the lights and also the body kit that makes it to go in that extent and the good is these are the M performance grills so you can opt for M performance grill when you buy this car from BMW and the front end it looks really good and the nameplate uh, why this is a Grand Coupe because of the sloping roofline and also the frameless doors so we have the 4 series Grand Coupe 6 series Grand Coupe and also the 8 series Grand Coupe so this is the most affordable Grand Coupe nameplate, nameplate car that you can buy in Malaysia for now. So in terms of the side profile, they really balance well. And, and Grand Coupe actually came from a two-door coupe, but they make it as a four-door coupe and call it as a Grand Coupe. So in terms of real designs, I prefer this one because it looks very simple and at the same time, it makes it attractive actually. So the Hofmeister King is also in gloss black color which uh, many modern BMWs has that too, even the 3 series has that too but I prefer um, the 3 series Hofmeister King, it's quite unique actually but this car it is, it kind of miss the resemblance of a Hofmeister King same goes to every modern BMWs and every modern BMWs the only thing you distinct is that the lights, these are the L-shaped lights for all BMWs and also the 218i badging and I really love the rear bumpers actually because they look very very good especially the distinct line that runs through uh, over the vents okay the vents are actually fake it's not the real one unlike the front end which you have real vents but this one it is not actually and coming to the lights these are the most important aspect for owners of the cars because this comes the BMW full LED uh, headlamps Unlike 3 series or on top of that we have laser lights for the higher specs but for the 1 and 2 series or so called as UKL 2 platform cars they can't opt for this laser light technology but even though there is no laser light but look at the DRLs they, they resemble that there is a laser light at lamps which BMW done a very good job because the 2 series in global has the underwhelming design that the 320i has but this looks way better actually because of the laser light uh, design language so it, it makes the car even more expensive so if you notice there's a vans obviously the honeycomb design which is a uh, classy BMW M Sport treatment is there together with that black color kidney grill which makes the car even more prominent into your eyes so overall the front end and the lights the technology that they use it is really really good especially with this gloss back trim for treatments around and the rims okay so it is really nice to look at the rims and overall the design it feels very very good rims you notice there's an M performance sticker so if you buy the parts you can get this M performance sticker uh, which is I think it should be cost around 200 ringgit or that kind of uh, price but it makes the car even more nicer actually especially with the M performance logo that makes it even nicer an M logo again there so that it denote that this is an M, M Sport car and normally M Sport car should have that so, other, so moving to the rear end okay this L shaped lights it doesn't have it has the three dimensional effect on it so it makes the car like a modern BMW should be my rating about this car should be around um, 80 out of 100 
it's really nice design and it's also affordable so they make the car really good. Moving towards the interior, uh, this is the 218i Grand Coupe M Sport interior. It looks like a 1 series exactly, but the steering wheel makes it even more expensive and there is also a reminiscence of the 3 series buttons, the controls is all the same thing. So this car in terms of technology, we get uh, cruise control, auto braking, adaptive cruise control and also wireless charger for your convenience to put your phone. But uh, the wireless charger actually generates more heat so, and looking from the side view, it looks really good especially with that uh, the design that they made, the frameless doors is here and the door cut looks very very good especially with the Hofmeister King door handles so yeah, overall the storage and everything is good the rear seats is actually quite cramped actually because um, in terms of the size, it's a front wheel drive car but um, they lack a lot in terms of headroom, legroom the seats, okay, these are the covered seats and the nice Vanas car leather upholstery. M Sport steering wheel there as well, together with the controls to operate infotainment screen and also the dashboard. And modular center console buttons, it can be adapted to left and drive and right and drive market without the ease of cost. So you also have ambient lights. In the to the BMW's meter panel is actually um, it's it's actually not digital okay it may, it, it's a sad thing for most of you but it is actually looking very very good indeed okay so under the hood we have this 1.5 liter three cylinder engine that puts 140 horsepower and 220 newton meters of top eight engine the code name is B38 so they assembled in Malaysia obviously big dual class transmission for the 218i And in terms of boot space, you have 430 liters of boot space, uh, less higher than the one series. So another thing in terms of safety systems, we have BMW Mega Sync Assistant as standard for the 218i Grand Coupe. So it makes the driver. It assists the driver, especially in terms of, uh, in terms of, uh, for example, you start at any uh, dead roads, so it can make it uh, fifth around. You can recall back your distance, so whenever you go there and you, you cannot reverse it, you can help BMW reversing assistant, so it would recall up to sixty meters in terms of distance. So it is really really easy to access, especially when you are in emergency. So it is very very helpful. And thank God that BMW put BMW reversing assistant, and there is also parking assistant, so such as all kind of safety systems. And coming to the park assist, so there is a BMW park assist for this car, uh, because um, this is all standard in all BMWs. It is very smart and it can detect all kind of uh, things that you need to know. So in emergency, in a tight spot, you can really it can be very very helpful this feature but I know most of you don't use it but at least it is there so how technological this car is Coming to the assistance systems, the driving assistant, you have a rear cross traffic alert, you have a blind spot assist, 
we also have a lane departure alert, lane departure warning, and um, auto braking, okay, and also cruise control, which is um, obviously standard in this kind of cars, but it's not active, it is passive. So auto braking in there, obviously. So it's very very good features there. And in terms of safety, they have fully packed that with the necessary things that you need in your car. So that's a very good stuff there. And overall, the safety systems and the technology that they use for the price, it is quite affordable because uh, to make it these things are standard. And they didn't optimize a lot. And with this car, you can just own for yours in two hundred and eleven thousand ringgit together with the. Two years uh, warranty or five years unlimited mileage so the package you can buy for it is here in the brochure so if you pick two years it will be cheaper but if you pick five years which is good for you you need to top up more in terms of pricing so you also have a service package there as well so guys that's it thank you